All right, hello everybody. And this is what I have right now. What I've added was uh, I've added this navigation, and I've and I've uh, uh, indented the uh, main uh, portion of the page this way to make it look a little nicer. And if you notice that if it goes like this, it stays pretty well. Okay, so I'll show you how I did that. It was all through Bootstrap. So go to your Bootstrap. Save. Get the Bootstrap page up for you. There's the Bootstrap page. And I went, well, first, let's let's do this thing first. First thing you're going to need to do is to get uh, a grid system going on with your uh, website. And usually the grid system is based upon uh, 12, uh, 12 grids, okay? Here it is pretty much, 12 grids, and if there's and you can divide it by eight columns and four, 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 six, six. You get the idea here. All right. And here's a mobile and desktop grid system. Oh, they're all in here. CSS grid system. Okay. Um, what this is is a container for your grid system. So. And it's a and, and and you want to wrap the contents in this container. So the first thing that I did was I went div class container and div. And this and this container, this div class, is where all of my um, Ruby stuff is going to be existing inside. Right here, these dots represent all the Ruby all the Ruby stuff. So where would you put that? Well, you're going to put that. In the application HTML.erb, and that's in views, layouts, application. Okay. Now, um, let me get rid of a lot of this stuff so you can see what we're doing here. Let's see. Okay, and what I did was div class container and ended the div. And remember our yield? Well, I don't think I taught you this, but know that our yield is where all of our uh, Ruby stuff, all of our pages are going to go in here in this yield. So I I put the yield inside the div class container as per these instructions here okay all right and then the second part was as you saw is the navigation system and that was in um, components I believe components Nav bar. And what I did here was I took this and the code for that is all of this right here up until here. Simply went copy. Went back to my application and I put it, see here's the body, head, body, and here is the div class I previously did. Put it right here. Okay. Right there. All that stuff. 
and you can pretty much configure out the HTML to uh, make make your links. All right, get that out there, and hence this is the page now. Okay, drop down. I'm gonna drop down. I'm not gonna need to search here, so you can just go ahead and find out where this is located and delete that appropriately from the CSS. Just a matter of uh, picking and choosing where it's at. But uh, yeah, all you need to do is spend some quality, excuse me, quality time in um, Bootstrap. See what you like. Well, like there. Copy the code. And if you don't need something in there, like I said that I wasn't going to need the um, the right here, the submit, you can figure that out. Go look for the submit button around here. Here it is right here. Take that, take all that out. So take out the submit button. And uh, you know, go play with it. And your best friend, your best friend is uh, undo, do and undo. That's my best friend. Do something, then undo it. Check it out. Do it, undo it. So there you go. That's pretty much all you need to make a make your page. You don't want to spend too much time on a design without making all your functionality correct. But uh, this is a good way to getting a professionally looking design uh, without having to struggle too much with the CSS. All right, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much and bye-bye.